Chapter five, luck. Okay, Coach Susie said. She blew her whistle. Let's get started with tryouts. The East Side girls all ran to one end of the field. Okay, Jasmine said, I guess we should go with them. The five Lincoln girls ran after the others. Everyone line up, Coach Susie called. We're going to do some dribbling drills, some passing drills, some shooting drills, and then a scrimmage. Anna glanced at one of the girls who had been whispering. The girl was pretty tall and had long blonde hair. Her jersey said the name Rivers. That's Lindsay Riz Rivers, said Diana in her ear. She's the goalie. She started last year too, just like you. Anna nodded. Cool, she said. And with her, that's Marissa Lee, Diana added. Marissa was short and had straight black hair. She's a defender, not great, but she did start last year. Think she'll be comp competition for Jasmine? Anna asked. Diana bit her lip. Hmm, she said, maybe. Jasmine is better if you ask me and really tough, but maybe Coach Susie will treat her own players better. Anna nodded, yeah, she said. The drills went on for almost an hour. Then the scrimmage started. Anna, Coach Susie called out once the girls had gathered around. Your goalie for Team A. Lindsay, you're on Team B. Lindsay glared at Anna with a smirk and mouthed at her. You're going down. Bring it, Anna mouthed back. Yeah, Brittany called to Lindsay, bring it. Okay, enough of that, Coach Susie said with a little chuckle. Team A, throw on some blue jerseys and let's get going. All the Lincoln girls were placed on Team A. Anna was relieved. She knew how her old teammates played and what to expect. Brittany took a pass off the kickoff and headed downfield. Anna smiled. Think she'll score on Lindsay, Jasmine said from her position near the crease. No doubt, Anna called back. She was the best scorer in the league. The girls watched as Brittany faked out two defenders, including Marissa. Here comes a shot, Anna said. Watch, she's going high in the right corner. Anna was right, but Lindsay didn't expect it. She dove high to the left. Goal, Jasmine called, running up to midfield to give Brittany, Brittany a hug. Nice one. Celebrate later, please, Coach Susie said over Team A's cheering. Then she grabbed the ball and dropped it in the middle for a kickoff. Lindsay wasn't fooled again by Brittany or anyone else, but Anna didn't let in even one goal. So, Lindsay, so Lindsay's one mistake lost the game. Team A won, one to zero. While Jasmine, Brittany, and Anna were talking after the game, Lindsay and Marissa walked over to them. Lucky shot, Brittany, Lindsay said. It won't happen again. Lucky, Brittany said, looking Lindsay up and down. That was not luck. Marissa rolled her eyes. Then she and Lindsay walked up. Nice game to you, too, Anna mumbled as the other two girls walked away. Don't worry about her, another East Side girl said. She was about Anna's height and had curly dark hair. She's just worried because she's actually got some competition in goal this year. The girls went on, or the girl went on. I'm Caitlin, by the way. Hi, Caitlin, Anna said. I'm Anna, and this is Jasmine and Brittany, and that's Diana and Eve over there. Caitlin nodded. I know who you guys are, she said. I wasn't on the team last year, but I went to the games. I saw you two play a few times. You're really great. Thanks, Brittany said. You were pretty good out there today, too. I hope so, Caitlin said. It'll be fun playing offense with you if I make the starting lineup. Suddenly, Coach Susie blew two sharp blasts on her whistle. All the girls gathered around her. Nice job, Team A, Coach Susie said. I was really impressed with everyone today, or I was impressed with everyone today, and I'll post the lineup by Thursday afternoon, she smiled. Lincoln girls, she went on, Coach Z will post the results at your school then too. Now, hit the showers. The sun started to set as the Lincoln bus bounced along toward their school. Boy, Lindsay Rivers is not my favorite person, Brittany said. Don't let her get to you, Anna said. Besides, I'm the one who's competing with her for starting goalie. You'll get in for sure, Anna, Jasmine said. No doubt, Brittany added. The three of us are definitely starting, I promise. Chapter six, the lineup. 
The next few days were tough, even though Anna, Brittany, and Jasmine were confident. They didn't know for sure they would make the team, and they really didn't know if they'd get to be on the starting lineup. It's just not fair, Brittany said. She was pacing in front of the bulletin board near the locker room. They were waiting for Coach Zimmerman to post the list. I mean, if we had a Lincoln team this year, Brittany went on, we'd all be starters easy. The others watched Brittany walk back and forth. You said that already, Jasmine said, and you're making me nervous with all of your walking back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Nervous, Anna joked. You're making me dizzy. Everyone laughed except for Brittany. How could you be anything but nervous, Brittany said, or sick? I'm both. Try to relax, Anna said. Coach Z will be here with the list any second. I can't relax, Brittany said. I have to keep moving. Hi, girls, Coach Z said suddenly. I think I have what you're waiting for. How does it look, Brittany asked. She leaned over Coach Z's shoulder as she put up the list. The other girls jumped up and ran over to the board. I think you'll all be pretty pleased, Coach Zimmerman said. She smiled and stood back. We all made it, Jasmine said. Yes, Diana said. And you're starting on defense, Jasmine. Eve pointed out. And I'm starting center, Brittany shouted. I'm not surprised, Jasmine said, giving Brittany a hug. What about me, Anna said, trying to get a look at the list from behind her friends. Of course you made it, Brittany said, and oh, oh, Anna said, finally checking out the list. What do you mean, oh? Anna looked down the list of names. She had made the team all right, but there it was in black and white, starting goalie, Lindsay Rivers.